Dan Coco standing by with Zach Walters. Dan, go ahead. Thank you very much, Johnny. Zach, your last two home run or your last two at bats have both resulted in home runs. I know you're not big on talking about yourself, but this has to feel pretty good for you right now. Hey, it's a lot better when it's a win. Um, I was just happy to come in there and produce, I guess. You know, Maddie gave me the okay, and uh, it feels a lot better when it's a win behind it. You said that you've known Dunn for years. You guys are alumni of the same high school, and you take him deep. Tell me about that. All I got to say is I'm not going to be invited to the Christmas party this year. <laughs> That's it. That's all I got for you. <laughs> You guys are down 3 nothing to Fernandez, one of the best pitchers in the league. How much did you sense the momentum shift in the dugout when Worth hit that home run? You know what, that's, um, to be in that opportunity, that's kind of hats off to Tanner. You know, he gives up a home run, but he battles his tail off. And Worth, when he hit that home run, you, you feel a little spark there. And guys, you know, we just had something underneath us then. This isn't an easy park to hit home run-ins. You come in in a, in a big spot. You're used to getting a handful of at-bats every day. You come in in a pinch-hitting role. Just tell me what you're thinking in that situation and take me through that at-bat particularly. I'm a rookie. I've been eating my food. Uh, I've been uh, crushing the spread here, so I feel a little, sprong, uh, a little stronger. That's all I got. But, uh, no, I, honestly, it's a different monster, different role. And... Um, I mean, I'm just happy we won. I don't have nothing else to say about that. That's it. They're turning the lights out on us, guys. We're going to send it back up to you. Congrats, Zach.